Well, those shares turning negative, Tyler, and perhaps some investors waking up to some potential red flags in that IPO prospectus. For one, you mentioned it, the accounting. We are used to adjusted EBITDA in the sharing economy from the likes of Lyft and Uber, Airbnb and DoorDash. But Rent the Runway, they took it a step further. They asked investors to look at gross profit, excluding clothing depreciation. As one of our colleagues, Mark Gilbert, put it, this is basically a rental clothing company asking you to ignore the cost of clothing. And maybe that's just peak 2021 markets and perhaps a good sign for other unicorns that want to go public. But secondly, on a more traditional adjusted EBITDA basis, the company is still losing money over the last two years. And third, guys, it's IPO prospectus that only gave us financials going back to 2019. So it is difficult to judge momentum pre-pandemic and how far or how close it is to that level, that kind of momentum. Still, guys, you could attribute the sudden fall in shares to first day volatility, the IPO priced at the top of its range. And it is not far from that right now, about 50 cents off that pricing. And like I said, this may actually be bullish for the IPO price line. Rent the runway, losing money, other money losing unicorns, maybe eyeing public markets on the back of this debut. Back to you.